Before operating the DCS 1800Z, please be sure and read the entire operation manual provided by directcolorsystems.com. This video will cover the daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance routine of the DCS 1800Z. Before beginning maintenance, please make sure that you have on appropriate safety glasses and rubber gloves. As a reference, DCS considers this to be the front of the 1800Z. This is the operator side of the 1800Z. And this is the back of the 1800Z. To clean the parts of the 1800Z, you will need 99% isopropyl alcohol wipes. These can be obtained through directcolorsystems.com. Since the wipes are large, it is recommended that you cut them into thirds using one for this cleaning and saving the other two for future cleanings. To begin, you'll start at the back of the 1800Z. Near the bottom of the cabinet, you will find a handle on the operator side and a handle on the wall side of the machine. Pull these up until the entire cabinet is wide open. The specially designed hinges will hold the cabinet open while you do maintenance. Now that the cover is up, you'll need to raise the entire assembly to its highest point using the up arrow on the control panel. Next, you'll press the carriage unlock button so you can move it back and forth using your hands. Now, with a little effort, you're going to use one finger and push the carriage to the center. Underneath the carriage, on the left, is the UV lamp. On the right is the print head. Now, take the alcohol swab that we cut into thirds Drape it over your forefinger, hold it in place with your thumb and middle finger. Try your best to swipe the print head one time from the front of the machine to the back of the machine, never going side to side. Next, we need to clean the encoder strip. It is behind the ink carriage above the main rail, a semi-clear plastic strip that needs to be handled with care. Push the carriage to one side of the machine. You're going to take the same alcohol wipe, straddle it over the encoder strip, being careful of the information ribbons, gently squeeze together, and gently draw it all the way across the encoder strip. If you hear a squeaking sound, you're doing it correctly. Now move the carriage to the other side and repeat the process. This is the main rail that the carriage rides on. It needs to be cleaned and lubricated. You're going to thread the alcohol wipe around the rail. Hold it with two fingers. You're going to go back and forth. You're also going to go up and down and around and try to make sure to get the ends as well. There you will see a lot of buildup. Move the carriage to the other side of the machine and do the same thing for the other portion of the rail. As you can see, there is a lot of buildup on the rail and it needs to be cleaned at the end of the printing day. Moving around to the front of the DCS, you will need to clean the bushings on the ink carriage and the rail between the bushings. You'll take the alcohol swab, you'll wipe to the left and right of the bushings, on the bushings, and the rail between the bushings. To lubricate the parts of the 1800Z, you will use MPT-12 lubricant. A quick tip, use a roll of tape on a tabletop surface to store the caps of the pen while you work. 
there is less of a chance of losing them. To lubricate the bushings and the rail between the bushings, you're going to take the MPT pen, hold it down, let a drop form at the end of the stylus, then rock it back and let that lubricant coat the entire stylus. Going slow and being careful, now bring the stylus to the rail and you're going to rub the stylus up and down and around until all the lubricant is on the rail. Returning to the back of the machine, we're going to continue to lubricate the main rail. Simply put a drop of lubricant about every two to three inches. Then you're going to move the carriage all the way to the other side and repeat. Then you can move the carriage back and forth to get the lubricant worked in. The last part to clean is the capping station. You're going to move the ink carriage out of the way and the capping station is below. These two pads have a rubber gasket or seal all the way around them and needs to be cleaned on the outside with the alcohol pad. There is a small rubber wiper that cleans off the print head. To clean this, you have to move this bar to the side and bring the wiper up with a stylus or your finger. Again, you're going to gently clean the outside of the rubber seal or gasket. Try to get all four sides. When you pull up the wiper, you want to clean both sides. Make sure that it's nice and clean. Again, this is what cleans the print head. Then you're going to put the wiper back down in its ready position. Feel free to clean other parts of the capping station before putting the carriage back over it. On the last day of a week of printing, when you're done with your daily maintenance, now you'll have to do the weekly maintenance. Starting at the back of the DCS with the spit tray. Inside the spit tray you'll find a dirty paper towel. This needs to be replaced. You will need to find a way to fold the paper towel so that it does not stick up past the edge of the spit tray. This will interfere with the print head. After you replace the paper towel, Check periodically while running the machine to make sure that it hasn't popped up over the edge of the spit tray. Notice there is a piece of masking tape on the edge of the spit tray. This will also have to be replaced during weekly maintenance. The tape should be approximately two and three quarter inches long. You must cut the tape off with scissors or a razor blade. The ends of the tape must be flat. No tears, no bits and pieces. Now you're going to fold the tape lengthwise, but don't let the tape touch itself. Just put a crease in it. This is going to straddle the edge of the spit tank. Now you're going to take that crease and tape it to the edge of the ink tape. You want to make sure that all the tape, every inch, is stuck down very securely. Feel free to take extra time to make sure that the tape is secure and also check it once in a while when you're performing maintenance or printing. If the tape pops up and the print head goes across it, you will have a huge mess of ink inside the machine and most likely ruin your project. Next in the weekly maintenance is cleaning the rails that the table rides on. You want to start by cleaning the top of the rail going away from the table Next, you'll want to clean underneath the rail in the ridges. Make sure to get the swab inside the ridges and all the way down, again going away from the table. Be sure to get every inch of those rails clean. Sometimes when you get a media error in the middle of printing an ADA sign, that's probably the reason. There's probably something stuck in those rails. It's making the table trip the sensor. 
Now to lubricate, we're going to use the MPT12 stylus again. You can put a drop between every screw or every other screw. Just don't get it inside the screw holes. Do this along both lengths of each rail. Make sure you haven't left anything between the rails. Now run the table the entire length of the rails. Now clean and lubricate the other end of the rails. Last on the agenda for weekly maintenance is scraping the UV lamp. Use the glass scraper from the maintenance kit to scrape the surface until the glass is clear. Be very careful not to scratch the glass and do not go side to side. The one monthly maintenance procedure is to oil the carriage guide. To do this you take the MPT12 lubricant, you push the carriage forward so there's a space between that and the carriage guide. You're going to insert the MPT12, squeeze a little, draw it out, and that's it. Be sure to wipe off the stylus. This concludes the video for the routine maintenance of the DCS-1800Z. Before operating the DCS-1800Z, please be sure and read the entire operation manual provided by directcolorsystems.com. You want fries with that? <laughs>